Come along with us. We're going off to see the cup and saucer and get some great caches. Holy doodle, it's big. Two earth caches, a handful of traditionals, and a whole lot of adventure awaiting us. It's a hot, hot day, so we're taking our time, and we got lots of water. Let's see you up at the top. And we're going along the trail. Oh, a bear! Careful! Bear country. She's fooling me. <laughs> hey, what do you got? Ew! A gum tree! A gum tree? Oh my! Ew! <laughs> well, this one looks fresh. <laughs> Look out! Look out for what? <laughs> hey, there's a fork in the road. Yeah, uh, from the GPS, I think the first traditional is off to your left. Well, let's get going. Okay. So this little offshoot that we've gone to to get this cache is the yellow trail, which is the adventure trail. So you could just take the main trail, keep going where we saw the fork, or you can come to a small side trail that was on the map and experience some really cool things like this cave and some more cool stuff I've seen on Facebook. Let's check out the cave. Okay, I'm down in, here I go. Lyric Glass is gonna meet me on the other side. She's coming down the ladder. Let's go get her. Holy cow, it's pretty dark. <laughs> it's like pitch black. It's just a, sli a sliver of light. Oh, I have to go down further. All right, we're gonna meet in the middle. There's no passing zone unless you wanna go through my legs. No. <laughs> oh, and it's all wet. It is. <laughs> Is your end wet? No, my end isn't wet. Is, is your that, end wet? Is that? <laughs> it's moist. <laughs> so this is really squishy in here, and it's a little bit damp, but it's a lot. It's really nice and cool, especially after this long hot day. Yeah. <sighs> this is somewhat. Oh, that was squishy. That was tough getting there through there. That was fun. Oh, that was neat. Oh, oh, the places geocaching takes you. <laughs> well, the coordinates are more here. Oh, wait a minute, I see a wire tie. Right here, do you see the cache? Oh yeah, that's cool. This cache is by someone we know, Cam Roo. You done yet? Done yet? Done yet? <laughs> Does it look like I'm done yet? No.
away and you can and then you can look down and see the cache. Right there. Send me on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Boy, the, that one was way off. The original the original coordinates are way over there. Like yeah, we holy the doodle. Thank goodness for the redirect. There's and that's like the hint. I don't know. It's under a rock ledge. There's a barch, birch bark oh, tree here, yeah. but more like under a ledge. <laughs> uh, and we got it. What do we got in the cache? Log book that we signed. Kinder egg. Kinder egg shell. Very Canadian. A moose. Moose. What does a moose sound like? They don't say moo. That's it. I think we have to put in a Cache Canada card. It's a straight drop off and it's a long way down and my legs are shaking. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Just check that out as a point and it goes straight down. <laughs> Whoa. We're at the Cup and Saucer Earth Cache. It's a fabulous view. Come and join us. It is incredible. This is the main big target for what we came up here for is this one right here. That's the Cup and Saucer Trail and this Earth Cache. And we've seen so many of our friends, geocachers, come to this spot. Yep. And uh, we just had to uh, tail along and uh, get on our list too. We got the cache and... Uh, Check out the view. The Cup and Saucer Trail named for its unique rock shape, is part of the Niagara Escarpment. The 70-meter cliffs span across a 2-kilometer distance, and the Niagara Escarpment runs 725 kilometers through Canada and the United States, proudly housing the oldest forest ecosystem in eastern North America. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? Cheers to you. We just came down off the mountain to see the cup and saucer. And we're having a cup and saucer English ale. Yep, here at the Manitoulin Brewing Company. It's time to leave the island. We're going to head west. Yep, we're going to take you to Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa. Where the big goose is. Yeah, the big goose. And then uh, we're going to take you up to Moonbeam. What's with Moonbeam anyways? Oh, you'll have to wait to see what Moonbeam's all about. That's coming up. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell. We're stopping for a little snack break. We have vegetables. Whoops. 